Hello there. Let me tell you a story. So when I was a reader for this course, a student came to me and he asked, well, what's this course for? And so I told him, well, Java is a very popular programming language, and so you'll probably use it in all your internships and your operatives as well. So it's good to get to know it now. And same with all these data structures, you know, linked lists, trees, hash tables, graphs, they really form the core of what computer science is. But then he asked, you know, but what is it all for? Like, why do I sit at a computer all day writing code? And so I stood there and I thought about it for a while, a few days, really. And this is what I told him. Take linked lists, for example. They're pretty helpful. What solves collisions in a hash table? Use a linked list. Every time you hit the undo button in Photoshop or the back button in Firefox, that's a linked list. They're so meta, they form the backbone of Git, software that's used to develop most of the world's other software. And have you ever tried to link a node back to itself? Now that's meta. Or what about trees? Trees gave our data a hierarchy, with a root and its children, family trees. And indeed, the entire animal kingdom is a tree, a tree of evolution. Every human sentence or phrase ever spoken is a tree, a tree of syntax. What about graphs? Graphs represent the fundamental network of our generation, the internet. They represent transportation, the fundamental network of all generations. They represent your social connections, and through them every friend or foe, love or loss that you've ever known. Physicists use them to model the interactions between atoms, and astronomers use them to model the night sky. They represent the neurons in our brain. Through them, every human memory in all of history, life itself, graphs are all that ever was, and all that ever will be. And you command them now. You have that power. Computer science is a frontier of problems. Solved, unsolved, and impossible. But how to make impossible dreams a reality? Well, that's your job now. You got the skills. So it's time to go. Go and, go and make your own future. Or maybe do it with a little help from a machine.